What's up, everybody? This is Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, bringing you another property tour out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you haven't tuned into this channel and this is your first time, this is the only channel here in Las Vegas where we connect you to the Las Vegas housing market. This is where we bring you to the property tour. We just tell you how it is. We tell you the facts. No BS. And we show you how things work. Anyway, this is the Donovan model. And this is by American West. We are located here in the Southwest Las Vegas Valley. So this property comes with two Lennox air conditioning units. Here's your PV, PVB valve, okay? It's a pressure uh, valve for your sprinkler system. We have your nice terracotta paver stones. This is a three car garage. Now you'll have a couple elevations to pick from. Now, if you want one with a stone elevation, it definitely will cost you a little bit more money also with the color schemes too as well. So like I said, this one is 3,692 square feet, four bedrooms, game room with a guest suite starting off at 467,500. That's the starting price, base price. So everything you see here is not included. Now there are some things that are included. Obviously you're gonna get the walls, toilets, everything. You're gonna get a house, right? But there's certain things that you can upgrade on a home as far as baseboards, color paint, okay? Uh, the elevation, example, this fireplace. If you want wood floors throughout, you also have that option too as well. Now, I do like how open this one is. Now, Fox Hill Estates has about 130 uh, lots. 15% of the lots have been sold. What I've noticed about American West, they own a lot of land here in the Southwest. Now they do sell these models in different locations of the Southwest too as well. All right, so let's start off here with this living room. The 72 inch fireplace with the stonework around it, this is an upgrade, okay? You have 24 by 24 inch porcelain tile on here. Love how these big windows right here bring in a lot of light. I do love that. You have a six inch tray ceiling, a drop ceiling, okay? I believe that is standard. However, the speakers are not standard. Also, you have a pre-wired here, okay? That may not be included. So you need to make sure what electrical items are included. So the rule of thumb, make it a lot easier for you if you're just starting to shop around for new homes. Whatever the base price is on the high side, you're probably gonna spend about 20% of the base price. So if this home is 500,000, you'll probably spend 600,000. And that's on the high side. Now, if you go to more of a higher end builder as far as like new construct, not new construction, I'm sorry, uh, more of a custom home builder, because this is a production builder, then those upgrades can cost more. Let me give you an example. I'm building a custom home right now Okay, not me personally, but for a client of mine, we're literally building it together. Uh, I believe we bought it for 900,000, but by the time we're done, we'll be in for 2.4 uh, million or 2.3 million. Love the undermounted sink. Okay, love the front apron on here. This is really nice stainless steel. The only thing I always have a problem with this is that it scratches so easy. This right here is man-made quartz. Love the lights underneath here. Let me see kind of lights is under here, okay. I like to prefer the LED lights. There's nothing wrong with this. However, when you have lights here, if this is too low, you can actually see it. You see how you can see this light? That's why you should have a light rail right here. So basically what a light rail is, it's just another crown, you know, crown molding on your cabinet that's below. So these are 42s with a double stack, which is really nice. Subway tiles upgraded monogram monogram is a high-end appliance for ge so this is actually a very expensive stove stoves can run anywhere but this type of stove here the chef stoves if you look like at wolf's um there's other brands out there that run like sixteen thousand dollars for a stove which costs more than my truck here we go again with the built-in 
microwave, this little storage area. I probably have to get rid of this microwave. I don't know what I would do with that. Just, it just doesn't seem right. Ugh. But that's my personal preference. Now let's take a look at the cabinets. You know how we do with the cabinets. All right, we'll do the pull out. So we have side staples here with the side glide, standard cabinets. Doesn't mean you can't upgrade on the cabinets. Six panel door coming into the pantry area. Okay. But I do love this built-in microwave. I could drive my car right through it. What's crazy is granite used to be so more expensive than um, the quartz. But now because everybody wants quartz, they charge you an arm and a leg for quartz. Oh, look at this vanity. Vessel sink. You know what? I used to love the vessel sinks, but I don't love vessel sinks anymore. Do you guys prefer the vessel sinks or the undermounted sinks? Uh, the toilet? Not feeling the toilet. I want my toilet to be higher. You can pay for an upgrade on that. We talked about that. Builders normally come, oh, builders will normally paint your home. If you change a sheen, that's where they start charging you more money. So we have the laundry room here downstairs, which is really nice, washer and dryer not included. I tell you those cabinets are not included. I tell you that probably uh, the pre-plumb and also the sink is not included in the sale of this transaction. What is included? Nothing. You just probably get a shelf in here. But man, I do love this quartz though. It's, it's looking nice, it's a different design. However, I had a, a, a debate with a, a some person that commented on the channel quartz is a lot more easier to take care of granite that's false information okay if you talk to any designer quartz is very hard to take care of like this look it's already etched there's something wrong with here so now you got to get somebody to come out here and sand it but what's nice about quartz you can always fix it like with quartz if you have white quartz I tell you what, the person that commented on, on that, why don't you go ahead and put some wine on your quartz countertop and leave it there for a good 30 minutes. Then uh, give me a call. That is a three car garage. Well, that is my rant for today. Okay, so we already looked at that. I'm in the zone today, boys and girls. We got a six foot slide. They're not aluminum, however, as as you can see, I can't open the door. I always have problems opening the door. Now these slides are six eight on the height. All right, let's go upstairs. I believe this is the one with the bonus room. To the left, let's see here. I believe this could have been an option of bonus room, but they didn't do that here. This would all be open. Where would you guys like to go? No, we'll start off with this room here. This can't be a master. This is a king cow bed. This is a huge bed right here. This is definitely a junior suite. This is not a suite. I mean, a master. Yeah, this is a junior suite. I haven't released a video for a while. Been crazy busy. You got the French doors, okay? Orange peel texture. Here's your 
return. That's where your filters will go. So here's your coat closet or closet. Definitely great for a utility room, which is, that's what they have it for, which is really nice. Now, coming into the master, we got French doors. Off to the left is your thermostat. We also have another air filter right here, okay? We have eight foot ceilings with a six inch tray ceiling. And this room is a large, okay? Looks like your TV outlet goes here. Just the other day when we were at the design studio, I was talking to a client, okay? When we go to the design studio, the way the floor plan is, make sure you have an idea of what type of furniture you're gonna buy and where you're gonna put the headboard, okay? Because you have options where you're gonna put your cable, okay? Now I had another client talked about, hey, I'm not gonna use cable outlets. I'm just going to use Wi-Fi. Now, the problem is that Wi-Fi doesn't work all the time, and plus you need some sort of cable connection or you need a router, okay? And should you ever decide to rent it out and you do direct TV or you have third-party companies with the satellite dish, they're going to drill holes in the side of your home. Now, if you are going to use a satellite dish, have the cables pre-wired in the attic and have the cables ready on the south side, right? of the valley because that's where all the dishes are on the south side it has to face south so that way it looks clean and you're not running cable wire all up on your side of your house and also if you have an HOA that are sticklers about everything you're gonna run into some big problems Huge shower. I like that little spa chair there. That's a good idea. Let me go inside here. This is a 3 16 glass. It's very thin. You mess around, that thing break easy. Oh, let me just sit in this little spa here. Kind of show you guys what's going on with that. your toilet or what they like to call a water closet I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for subscribing to this channel and really supporting what I do I haven't talked about it, you know, in a while, but I will always be that cool dude. I'm not going to be that bougie guy, you know, that makes a lot of money. That's not me. I'm always going to be real and tell you how it is and give you the options through the process of purchasing your home. I want you guys to call me and do business with me because you trust me and because you like me. Okay. All right, so this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. Okay. Man, it's carpet galore up in here. So basically, it looks like all the bathrooms are all the same. Same type of cabinets as you can see. But let's open some of these cabinets here. I'm going to show you underneath the sink here what it looks like. Here's a T-trap. Oh, one thing I want to uh, let you know is sometimes it gets clogged. Uh, look, make sure you contact a plumber. Don't do what I'm telling you, but this is what I've done at my home. You get a lot of hair right here trapped. You just take that off, right? Make sure you get a bucket under it because it's going to stink because that's where the T-trap is. And also, the reason why you have this T-trap here is because water will always sit here, and that's how uh, the smell from the sink does not come up through the sink because you have the water it's blocking it right here. And that's what we call a T-trap.
Here's your tub shower combo. Now let's talk about the tub shower combo, okay? We know that this is a upgrade, right? The backsplash on here. This 12 by 12 um, granite, okay? What's probably gonna go here is a fiberglass pan that goes here. You also have an option just to leave it open standard where you're doing a shower rod. If you're gonna just do the standard, spend the money for this shower uh, glass door. It's worth it, it's only like 400 bucks, okay? With the builder. Here is your toilet right behind this door. And this just shuts like that. Six panel door, it's not insulated. Medicine cabinet. This is your 42 inch medicine cabinet. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> you came up here so quiet. I was like, well, what the? <laughs> it's okay. So here was the door for the um, the bathroom. Oh, you know what? It's not a Jack and Jill. I apologize. Yeah, I thought this was a Jack and Jill, but this is not a Jack and Jill. This just opens up to these other two rooms here. Okay. So this is a standard size room. This is a uh, 12 by 10 it looks like. Now I do like how this little bunk bed here and this little bed. That's kind of cool. You know I always wanted one when I was a kid. Something like this but my parents never got me anything like that. And that's why I have one in my massive bedroom right now. So basically I sleep on top and my wife sleeps on the bottom. So coming across here we have our storage space again. All right. And coming into the last room. And there's nothing in this room. American West, their main sales place is at um, the crossings. And they have a total, probably like, I would say 12 models to actually view and tour. And that's located on Decatur, okay? Decatur and Rainbow. When you walk in there, check out my girl Jules. She'll definitely hook you up. Just tell her, hey, I was watching Chuck's videos, wanted to come by. She's gonna roll out the red carpet for you. That's how we do business. We always take care of each other. All right, let's finish up this video here. Like I said before, I'm gonna say it again. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Most importantly, hit that notification button so that way you're updated on a consistent basis when we release new videos, especially if you are in the market to shop for a home. Also visit lvhomeexperts.com. It's a great website to get started, to start looking at homes, to kind of get a general idea what is it that you're looking for. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.